Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon. And today, I have a very special car to show you. This is a 2006 Ford Mustang Saline Extreme Edition. So, what that means is, similar to Shelby, uh, Steve Saline took Mustangs and from the Ford factory, took them to his shop like Shelby did and did the transformation of his cars there. And this one in particular is what they call the extreme model. There were 164 of them built in 2006. And I'm going to take you around, show you some of those traits and what makes this a very special car. Now, uh, this one finished off in satin silver, of course, base coat, clear coat. This is the factory paint on the car. Um, you can see possibly a little bit of, I can try to show you some depth, but you know, in the bright sunlight, but got a little metallic in here. Uh, this is an aluminum hood, which is different than the regular Mustang with these air extractors and these fins here. So that'll dissipate heat from the engine compartment. Uh, the wheels and tires now, these are niche wheels and these are not the factory wheels, but they are new. And I do have a set of factory wheels that are brand new and they do go with the car, uh, still in the box. And these are uh, Mickey Thompson 275-3520s all around. They're new as well. Uh, Celine's always sit nice. Suspension's done to them. Uh, of course, almost every body panel has been touched by Celine. And I'm going to take you around and show you most everything I found on it. Now, uh, you'll see this badge here, S281. S is for Celine. 281 is the cubic inch displacement of the engine, which is a 4.6 liter. Um, three valve and extreme this is calling out the model now essentially uh, if this was a regular supercharged Celine Mustang it would be 435 horse and this would be S281 SC for supercharged in as much as it's the extreme uh, that bumps it to 550 horse and so uh, hence the name extreme and I'll tell you what this thing just absolutely is scary. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, we're talking about a six-speed manual transmission. You would have only gotten the five-speed manual in the regular supercharged uh, by comparison. And a 410, uh, what they call the max grip differential, which is essentially posi, but 410 gears. And I'm here to tell you, this thing will stand up and move hard. So, Celine graphics here, and the lower rocker panel moldings. Very cool. All the glass is nice, your Celine decals. This is all factory Celine equipment here. Uh, one of the options the car has is this piece here. Now, uh, you'll notice most Mustangs have like a, just a glass window and then Celines typically have a little half window here or half, you know, kind of a piece of plastic, which is cool. But uh, if you upgrade to this, you get this, the glass is removed and you get this piece here. Kind of defines the car a little bit take you on the interior here. Factory original black interior or charcoal interior. You notice the door panels are nice. Celine call out here. Seats are unique to Celine. You'll notice this ribbing here. Actually this will match the top of the supercharger. I'll show you that here in a little bit. You got the nice embroidery here front and back and take a look at the headrest with these plastic louvers here. Very cool. Now right here is a badge that denotes what the car is as well. It says Celine. It's kind of hard to see there, and, you know, but it is a S281E, E for extreme. Of course, everything works on the car. It's excellent. Uh, I think it's got 15,800 and 20 miles on it uh, and again it's a 2006 now in 2006 uh, Shelby didn't even have uh, a contender in in this horsepower range his didn't come out until 2007 at which time it was a 550 horse but in 2006 this was the this would have had to have been the top dog because it is it is extreme it's a good name for the car power four-wheel disc brakes you've got 15 inch rotors up front uh, exclusive to the Celine Extreme. 
this panel here is exclusive to Extreme as well as the way they did this back, it contoured and makes it as though the headlight, the tail lights rather, look embedded into the car, as you can see there. And then the rear spoiler on the trunk lid. Down here you got the Celine call out, which is embossed into the bumper cover. Nice chrome exhaust, hard to see, but it does say Celine on the top of the exhaust. Now this is a rear diffuser and this is carbon fiber and you always want to look anytime you look at a car Corvette a Mustang Camaro what have you I always like to look at these pieces uh, on a lowered car you want to make sure they're not damaged and this car has no scraping or anything under it same with the front in particular but you want to make sure nobody's owned it and backed over a curb or something and damaged this but this is a nice piece it's big it's carbon fiber and all of your mesh pieces in here excellent we're here let me show you in the trunk trunks nothing special but show it to you anyway got a little light here uh, this is a copy of the original window sticker I do have the original window sticker as well this is a nice copy you can see uh, this is the front license plate one nice thing about this car it has not been drilled for a front license plate. Some states don't require it. Oregon, where I am, does, but I just, I, I can't, I can't drill into the car. I'm just not going to do it. This little detailing kit, these came with uh, the Celines when they were brand new. It's still here. It's an Eagle One detailing kit. Um, let me show you that real quick. Hasn't been used, still there. Uh, Steve Celine did sign my uh, extreme owner's manual and this is car number 145 now the cars that are numbered here uh, or Celine numbers them they're not that's not number 145 of 164 Celine extremes that's just car number 145 out of his shop at that time so yeah I don't think that that's exclusive because all the all the Celines are numbered but they're numbered as they came out of the uh, out of his shop this is your owner, owner's manual, books. That's a letter up there from Celine. Now this is actually one of 18 cars built with this color combination and option combination. Again, uh, you know, the paint, beautiful, original, very nice. Excuse the train here for a second. Notice the door panels, nice and clean, not damaged. S281, the floor mats, these are uh, Celine floor mats. Now the supercharged cars, uh, the extremes, and the regular supercharged cars cars uh, get this uh, gauge pod up here which shows you the underhood temperature and it's also a boost gauge this is the original shifter it's a leather uh, covered shifter ball or it's kind of uh, kind of nice feels good in your hand again everything works on the car uh, the gauges are exclusive to Celine as is the steering wheel uh, steering wheel center let me uh, open the hood. The pedals are Celine. So there's a lot of things that uh, differentiate the Celine from the regular Mustangs. I mean, they just did a lot. They just did a lot of things. Very nice. Here's those big brakes I talked about. Uh, you've got. Uh, vented rotors here and slotted and then you've got the Celine call out on the uh, calipers up front carbon fiber splitter again I talked about Dean's probably not gonna be able to show you underneath but there is no scraping under here and this is important anytime you look at these cars with spoilers on you want to look at that and just see if somebody hasn't you know hit a driveway or hit a a berm too hard like in the parking lot um, 
HID headlamps, Celine exclusive grill. Now, you'll notice this styling cue right here. This was taken from the Celine S7, which is their high end sports car. Take you under the hood here. Aluminum hood, again, exclusive to Celine. And what you're seeing here is the 4.6 liter or 281 cubic inch three valve engine with the supercharger. So when you go to look at a Celine, and if you're looking in particular at an extreme, what you want to find out is how can I open the hood and find out if this is an extreme engine as opposed to just a regular supercharged engine. So I called Celine when I bought the car. I said, is there something, or I should say before I bought the car, because I wanted to make sure. And what that is, is the pulley size down here. So the pulley for the supercharger is 2.75 inches on the extreme, and it's about three and a half inches on the regular supercharged car. Also, your VIN plate here, your data plate is gonna have an E on the end, so that'll denote that it is an extreme. This is a battery tender, if you're wondering what that wire was. Very clean in here, the car's been very well maintained, very well taken care of, as you can see. It's beautiful everywhere you look, and it's just absolutely a kick to drive. I mean, these Mustangs are arguably the best retro cars this you know this model 2005 to 2009 uh, they look more like the vintage Mustangs than any of the other models at least in my opinion and probably a lot of others the Challenger looks cool too <laughs> so what I'd like to do now is I'll hop in the car start it you'll hear it start hear it run and you know I can't really take you on a on a you know little road trip or anything, but I'll just drive around the parking lot, do a couple of v, uh, a couple of uh, you know eight loops, you know figure eights, and whatnot, just to kind of show you the car, and you can kind of see it move under its own power. Remember, I do have those uh, original wheels for the car. These look great. In fact, I was going to put the other wheels on it, but it just looks good with these wheels. This anthracite color, definitely, uh, definitely a nice choice. So let's go ahead and do that. Come back and talk a bit more. You know, you got to hand it to these later model vehicles, Mustangs, Corvettes, Camaros, Challengers and whatnot. They're so nice to drive, so easy to drive. Uh, this is a heavy duty clutch, but easy to push. Uh, the Extremes came with a little heavier clutch, heavier duty clutch, I should say, than the regular supercharged cars. Uh, again, the transmission, six speed manual. Uh, it's a, it's a uh, Trimac T six I believe it was what they would have used in the Viper some a similar transmission to that but you got all the amenities that you need here you got of course you need power windows it's got those and power door locks a power seat you've got air conditioning uh, everything works uh, remote it's just very nice very clean car uh, these are I can't say enough about them I, I actually really love this car um, but uh, if I can answer any further questions for you about this 2006 Mustang Celine Extreme, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, my name is Rich Dean, and this is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503-851-6763, and thank you for watching today.